I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. A state board recommends the removal of a circuit court judge presiding in Flagler County. Rich Petschke reports. The Florida Judicial Qualifications Commission, which is a six-member body made up of judges and private practice lawyers, is recommending that 7th District Circuit Court Judge Scott DuPont be removed from the bench after finding several violations of judicial conduct, mainly addressing actions that DuPont took against his opponent for re-election in 2016. The board found DuPont published false and misleading information online about his opponent and his opponent's family. DuPont was also accused of several courtroom violations, including modifying his court calendar in 2016 to accommodate his re-election campaign schedule. Seventh Circuit Chief Judge Raul Zambrano is reviewing the findings, but ultimately it will be up to the state Supreme Court to decide if DuPont will be removed. For the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Rich Petschke. This portion of WNZF Local News, a service of the Daytona Beach International Airport. Fly to the Big Apple in a New York Minute on JetBlue from the Daytona Beach International Airport. Public schools and airport projects could be at risk. John Arking has more. The GOP-led Florida House Ways and Means Committee last week approved a nearly $350 million tax package that would help farmers impacted by Hurricane Irma and lower a lease tax on businesses. The vote came after the committee added a provision to reduce the aviation fuel tax next year from $4.27 a gallon to $2.85, a move opposed by airport officials throughout the state, including Roy Seeger, Flagler Executive Airport Director. Really, it's just helping one industry helping the airlines who are flush with cash right now. Uh, they're, they're making more profits than they have in a very long time, and they, they're making billions of dollars, but yet they, they don't want to pay this money that actually, which the you know, irony here is, is that the majority of this money goes to commercial service airports, and the airlines receive a direct benefit from that. Seeger says he and other airport officials will be in Tallahassee Tuesday to try and lobby against the measure. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Arkin. A skull belonging to a massive whale is found in Flagler Beach. The whale that was missing its lower jawbone was found south of the pier Thursday. Biologists believe it may be an endangered humpback whale, but are awaiting confirmation from specialists at the Georgia Aquarium's Conservation Field Station at Marineland. Adult humpback whales can grow up to 60 feet, the size of a rail car, and weigh up to 44 tons. A dozen students from Matanzas and Flagler Palm Coast High Schools are getting hands-on experience in the tech field working with Coastal Cloud in Palm Coast. Sarah Hale, co-founder with Coastal Cloud, says it's a collaborative effort between the company Career Source Flagler Volusia, the Flagler County Education Foundation, and local high schools. If we can be exposing them to all the different careers that are out there, that might decide you know, where they go to college or if they go to a different program that's teaching them the skills that they need. And there's so many opportunities out there, and we need to expose them so that they can pick a career that they're going to love. Hale says internships at Coastal Cloud are paid. It shouldn't be about getting the donuts. It should be what's the objective and what are they trying to learn. And for our internships, it's that there's a lot more kids getting work-based experiences, you know, as reflected in our Mm -hmm. Salesforce dashboard. So hopefully we'll all be successful. Interns are training on Salesforce.com and learning how the technology works on the front and back ends. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.